up for us for tomorrow. Sunshine back in the forecast will have plenty of it, and I think you'll notice the temperatures will rise pretty quickly. Isolated chance for a shower late in the day, maybe a thunderstorm as well, but really, I think we'll start to see the more widespread for us on Thursday. Once again, it's going to be hot, though. Temperatures will still hold on to the 90s until we look to the end of the week. But by then, uh, more widespread showers, so expecting to keep the umbrella on standby for you. Check out the temperatures across the area where we topped off for today. 88 for the high at BWI, 85 in Dulles, and we topped out at 89 in Reagan. So, yeah, it was pretty warm. Now it's slow to cool for this evening. 78 for the temperature in Annapolis, 76 for Quantico. Seeing some mid-70s in and around the district. 72 for Manassas. I think it's going to be a warmer night for sure than what we had yesterday. On top of that, a little bit more muggy. Check out the dew points. No 50s really on the board here. We're seeing mid to upper 60s for your dew points. So yeah, the mugginess will be staying with us all the way through tomorrow as well. And that's because our winds are shifting a little bit and now becoming more southerly. And you can start to see that. At least we get a little bit of a breeze going 12 miles per hour there in Annapolis. 14 in the district and 12 in Quantico. Seeing six miles per hour for wind speed there in Manassas and seven in Dulles. So the southerly winds will continue to pump up that moisture all across the area. At least we'll stay dry, not only for tonight, but also for tomorrow. I want to show you future cast your morning commute. Everything looking fine by the afternoon. When you start to wrap things up and you're heading home, you can see a few of those spotty showers, maybe an isolated storm pop up. I think once we lose the daytime heating, we'll lose uh, the chance to see some of those showers, but definitely we'll start to see things ramp up once again more so for Thursday. So high pressure will continue to build tomorrow for sure. Temperatures in the mid 90s, you factor in the humidity, it could feel like the upper 90s, and just this dome of high pressure will continue to build on Thursday. The difference though for Thursday, there's a cold front to the north of us. So that will drop down close to the area, bringing in the chance for showers. I should say the higher chance for showers for Thursday. So maybe that will help us cool off a little bit and then definitely for Friday as well. So forecast for tonight, 70 degrees, a little bit of a wind coming out of the southeast, about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but staying mild and partly cloudy. Some may say 70 is just a little too warm for them at night. 95 for tomorrow, along with that, the humidity and the chance for those few isolated showers and storms. Check out the next seven days. We have two days of the 90s. Then we cool down a little bit for your Friday. Widespread showers in the forecast to help us cool down. Clears out a little bit, but still a chance of showers in the forecast for the weekend. But it's back to the 90s by the time we look at for Monday and then Tuesday looking like the chance of showers and storms and temperatures there will be in the mid to upper 80s. So summer is not done with us. Ladies.